Okay, so in this video, I will be showing you how to install Kali Linux in your Windows system. Uh, installing Kali Linux is pretty easy. You just go to the Windows Store and just install it. But there are some limitations that your Windows comes with. You have to remove that limitations in order to use Kali Linux properly. For doing that, you have to first you have to use PowerShell as an admin, and by pressing Windows key and X, you can uh, bring up this one. You will select the Windows PowerShell as an admin. Once it, there will be a prompt asking you to allow it or not. Okay, so once you uh, allowed it, now you have to. Uh, there is a file. There is like a uh, some text which uh, says that enable this feature on your window. So I will just paste it if I have it in my. Oh my god. Let's see. If, okay. All right. So I will just write it and then I will keep it in my video description. You can just copy it there from there. Okay, so I will once you wrote this one, just press enter, it will take some time for you to enable, oh, okay, so yeah, I, I already turned this feature on in the, while I was testing, so now you have this one, this feature on, and if you see here, is that needed for me, no, but for you, there will be another option, which will be Y for yes, and no for no, so you just press the Y from there, and then you will be good to go your computer will restart and once your computer restart then come back to this video and we will do the rest all right so once you are restarting restarted computer just you can just uh, close this one by pressing by writing exit in here go to your store come here and write i will install cal linux oh what happened all right, here is Cal Linux official, and I you can see here this product is already installed. So I already installed this. You can install it uh, when you or you want it, and uh, you can install, for example, this one, or you can install uh, any other like Ubuntu or anything that you want. I will just search for Ubuntu that you can see that it is here. Yeah, so you can just download whatever you want. It's uh, free, and you will get that command prompt. Okay. So I will go back to Kali Linux because we are using this one. Okay, once you get here, once you download this one, you just press launch. Okay, and once you press launch, it will take a few minutes or a few seconds or I don't know how much time, but it will take some time for it to be like uh, completely done. All right, so I will see you once this is uh, finished installing. All right, when once you came here, it'll ask you for a username. I will just give him Parvez, and then what? Oh, so your username shouldn't be shouldn't have any capital or any letter that uh, is not allowed. Only smaller letters, and my password will be. Alright, message this is a minimal installation of Cal Linux. You likely want to install supplemental tools or how to. Alright, once you're done here, now there is nothing much to do. You just uh, uh, add these commands which will update and upgrade your system. It'll ask you for the Parways password, which I just entered. The password that you have your own, it will be different. But this was my password, so I entered it. Okay, so yeah, we have to wait for it. Though. Yeah, this is like a minimal installation of uh, your Windows, uh, your Cal Linux. You can, uh, if you want, like to use it like uh, the with the max potentials and stuff. Then you may have to do something else for that, and for doing that, you have to install Cal Linux in a virtual box or something else. But for in here, you only get the like a, as a SSH, you know, like something. Okay. Now, when you are done with that, you will just give this command. It says that there are so many new things that needs to be updated. So yeah, I will see you once it's done.
Okay, as you can see here, the update upgrade is done and update is also done. Now what we need is we have to put this in our like uh, uh, exclusion list. For example, sometimes if we want to do something in here, then the Windows Defender will think that it is not from here. So we need to do for uh, we need to add the this location uh, in our exclusion list or whatever that is. Okay, so for doing that, uh, just come to your uh, C folder and then go to users and then select whatever user you are and then go to your app data which I cannot find it but I will just do something like this uh, app data good okay so now we go to your local and then once you go to your local then go to your packages yeah, here is the page. Now search for Kelly, and here you can see. Okay, now just click here and then copy this folder, this, this location. Once you copy this, go to your Cartona, search for Defender. Uh, here you can see the Windows Security. Go to your virus and threat protection. Come to here. And then you can see here exclusions. Add or remove an exclusion. All right. Now add a folder in here to paste the location that you copied from there. It will ask you a prompt that is it like true, blah, blah, blah. You say yes. All right. Okay. Once you're done here, then there is nothing like uh, much to do other than installing your favorite tools. I will install Nmap. All right, I will install this one, or Metasploit, apt, get, get install Metasploit framework. All right, as you can see here, I will just say yes, and now it will take uh, 3 million years to download. So I will just press Ctrl C. Instead of that, I will install something easy, something sudo apt install. Um, some like Felix, which I do not need in here either. But okay, whatever. So you know that it works, right? Great. Now, so yeah, this is basically what is uh, your Cal Linux machine in your Windows. It is like a subsystem. Uh, I was doing uh, something else, but then I forgot the command for that, so if I remembered, I will put it in the description, if I didn't, then this is your Cal Linux, you can do whatever you want. Let me see if I have Python installed. Okay, I don't have, so I will install sudo apt get install python. And you tell me that this is 13 megabytes thing and I will download it and I will tell him or the system to yes download it and I will wait for it until then uh, okay just one second guys my internet speed sucks today okay as you can see here it is done and now if I write Python it will tell me that it is here Python 2.5 you just get, give, give it an upgrade uh, force update or whatever you want just do that and then you'll be good in the next video I will be showing you how to use the subsystem as a graphical environment like a GUI we'll wait for that that's coming soon okay thank you for watching guys bye bye